what is going on YouTube today is May 16th and I am up at 6 30 in the morning um, I accepted an order yesterday from dispatch for today so the pickup is at 7 in the morning at Sherwin Williams and I am driving 60 miles for hundred and nine dollars I normally don't take these long runs uh, because it takes me out of the city for about you know anywhere from three to four hours and within that time frame I could definitely make uh, you know over a hundred dollars so I usually don't like to take these runs but because it's so early I'm gonna beat traffic I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I should be back in town hopefully around 9 30 maybe 10 o'clock to the latest and uh, hopefully have time to get one or two more so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this little road trip. I'm on a full tank. So uh, Actually, I'm on three quarters tank. So I should be able to make it up and back and finish the day out with the tank with the gas that I have All right, so let's get it All right, uh, pulling up to my stop Sherwin Williams like a little warehouse uh, I'm about 15 minutes early, so they're not even open yet but uh I will be ready for pickup. All right, uh, I'm about to hit the highway. That's what I'm taking right there. And uh, the customer that I'm uh, transporting this paint for is actually here as well. So um, he took some items in his pickup truck, but he couldn't carry the rest. So I'm getting paid to take this for him. So I will, he's already heading up there and it's gonna take about, about an hour. So not too bad of a drive. All right, man, I've been driving for about 30 minutes and I'm about 30 minutes out. Um, it's been smooth sailing, no traffic or nothing. So it definitely was worth taking this order. I, I think it was. Uh, the drive's not too bad and uh, should be good to go. It's uh, literally like nothing out here, so not a lot of scenery. All right, man, I think I'm here. Uh, it took about an hour and 10 minutes. And um, I believe this is the right location. So let me see where we're gonna dump it. Find somebody, mechanic shop. Yeah, it's gotta go in here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if somebody's in here. All right, so this is the uh, mechanic shop and this guy in here told me to go over here to this other building. I guess on the other side of this building and there's some people that's gonna unload for me, so. So I think it's this building right here straight ahead all right get unloaded
All right, man, I am done with that order. Um, the guy helping me, he was carrying one can at a time. I'm like, hey, man, you know you can carry two at a time. But uh, we got it unloaded pretty quick. Um, and I am about to go use the restroom, stop at this gas station, and head back to town. It is 8.40 right now, so I should be back in my area, hopefully within an hour, so about, about 9.45. And uh, hopefully I can get at least one or two more orders. So I'm sitting at 109 with this order. And uh, they're really good on gas, so um, I'm still above half a tank. So I should be able to finish the day off um, with the gas that I got down. That's the mud. It's a bunch of mud on my tires. So, yep. Yeah. the next day all right what's going on y'all today is may 17th and i'm up early again it's 6 45 in the morning and i have a pickup at seven o'clock at sherwin williams uh, it's a dispatch order i'm just picking up a few cans and then i gotta go to a second sherwin williams and pick up more items and then take those to a third sherwin williams for drop off so two separate stops, two separate payments, one drop off. Um, so I'm right down the street. I'm about to go uh, pick these orders up. I got them, uh, I accepted them yesterday for today. And then I have a catering delivered order uh, later on today around 10 something. So um, hopefully I can knock these out pretty quick. I do have to deal with traffic and uh, I might be able to squeeze one more in. We'll see. So let's get it. All right, I'm pulling up to the back of Sherman Williams, and uh, hopefully they got here on time because I'm ready to grab and go. All right, let's see what we got going. All right, man, that is it. Just five cans, paying forty-five dollars. So it's got to go to another Sherman Williams to pick up couple more cans and go drop it off that's uh Tripoli donuts I don't think I ever had that before it looks brand new everything over here look new um, that's why I love this job man being able to drive around and discover all these new places to eat see stuff that you'll never see if I didn't have this job I delivered there too that uh, apartment complex right there all right man pulling up to the uh, second stop it only took me about uh, about uh, 15 minutes to get here so let me load up real quick and get out of here on the freeway it was a big accident and it's like an hour delay so uh, I'm literally 17 minutes away from the drop-off but it's gonna take me 40 minutes because of traffic so uh, I'm just taking a detour and uh, 
Hopefully I can get there pretty quick because I did accept another order. So I'm gonna try to squeeze it in before 10, uh, 10 50. So uh, while I'm detouring and taking this long way around, it looks like um, my drop off is a Sherwin Williams and my next stop is a PPG pickup. And it's literally like right down the street. So this just might work out perfect. Um, I shouldn't uh, have any issues with getting to that uh, that order on time, that delivered order. So that's cool. But I was just looking at the map. I'm like, man, it's right down the street. So, all right, man. I am finally back on the freeway. It took me about 25 minutes to get back on the freeway. There was traffic everywhere. Uh, it was an accident on the freeway, and then you get off on the side streets and it's schools everywhere school buses with their stop signs on uh people jaywalking uh just i mean you name it man it's everything stalled vehicles just a mess so this is why i like to start around this time like around 8 30 9 o'clock to avoid all that but you know what it's all good man i got money in the back of my cargo van so uh doesn't get me down man so i'm about to about 20 minutes away from my drop off and uh, we'll be heading to PPG after that. All right, so I'm almost to my stop. It is uh, 8.15 and I accepted three orders. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this before 10.50, but I'm gonna try, I'm about to be hustling. So uh, it should work out because um, after I drop this off, my pickup is right behind me. So it's like two miles away. Um, I'm not gonna pick it up though. I accepted another order and the pickup is it's one order for a cargo van Well, actually two orders two orders for a cargo van and it, but it's two separate orders So I accepted both of them because it's the same pickup location. So I could carry two pallets back here so um, I'm gonna try to take both orders and The drop-off is the exact same place as well. So it's, a, it's basically a two-for-one so I gotta hustle, man. I'm, I'm hustling. All right, man. Rolling up to this Sherwin Williams. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this dropped off as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, this is uh, my very impressive Dolly location. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, man. I'm gonna be quick. Not a lot of recording here. All right, man. I got that dropped off. I'm moving like lightning, so. I'm hoping uh, this will work out. I'm going, I don't know what I'm picking up, um, but I have two pickup, two separate pickups at the same place and the drop off is the same place. So it's definitely worth it and it's a 10 mile route. So hopefully everything will fit. Uh, and I don't have to come back and uh, should be good to go. So I'm about uh, 10 minutes from the pickup. Oh man, this is crazy. So this pickup, I think I'm picking up water or something because I know uh, I used to watch uh, I used to watch uh, what was his name cargo van man and I know this was his bread and butter right here I think he did it through uh, you ship and uh, I actually have a you ship account and uh, it sucks like I can't really book nothing on there but um yeah man I did not know I was going to a Walmart so I'm picking up I'm assuming it's gonna be some pallets of water so we'll see man Cause they had like very specific instructions to go in the back and you got to take all the labels off so we'll see I did, it did not say I was going to Walmart though okay my fault it's uh Sam's Club Sam's Club so uh, I mean Sam's Club same thing they own by Walmart anyway so so yeah let me go back here and uh, see what we got all right man so I went to the back dock and they saying to come over here where the you know where customers pick up their little groceries and stuff so i don't know man that's for a cargo van so i thought i'm assuming it was pallets of water but uh we'll see let me ask these people see what's up all right man old dude on the forklift give me the run around he know damn well i wasn't supposed to pick up over here this is like grocery stuff so he supposed to load my stuff up it's, it is pallets of water so uh let me go let him know man load me up so i can get the heck up out of here I don't know if he's trying to be lazy or what, but I got to make moves. So I'm just going to back in right here. He loading that truck up right there. So I'm coming right back. 
all right man i feel like the cargo van man right now uh this is the uh product right here so there's one pallet and he's about to put another one in right now so one more pallet man i found it so i'm at the uh, university uh, utsa and i'm gonna go right down this hill right down that hill right there and they got a forklift driver waiting on me so i'm just gonna back in right there he's gonna unload me and i'm gonna go try to do that other order with ppg as quickly as i can All right, so this second pallet, I had to use my straps. I should have filmed it, but I hooked them around the pallet and hooked it to his forklift, and he just pulled it toward the toward the back, so we were able to get it out. So the straps work. All right, man, I'm done. Uh, I tried my best to uh, make it to pick up this last order. So I got two orders. I got one more water order, and then I got. Uh, the PPG one I've been trying to get all this morning. It's a lot of cans, like 40 cans. So I don't want to put that many cans in here and then delivering food. That's especially if the customer comes out to help me, that, that ain't gonna look good. So um, I'm gonna be about 20 minutes early to the delivered order. Um, I don't know if the paint one is ASAP or not, but I'm just gonna take a L on that one as far as like my on time percentage. I don't really care. So um We'll knock this out I'm about, I'm about 20 minutes away so i gotta go to bj's knock that out and then uh i'll be heading to uh i'll probably do the water and then the paint last because that's kind of like on my way home so man busy day i love it when it's like this about 20 minutes early almost 30 minutes early <clears throat> this is uh the rim very popular uh place to shop and a lot of entertainment and food over here so my pickup so <laughs> uh my pickup is at 10:50, and hold on one second all right, so I'm doing a uh, 1050 pickup. So uh, this morning I had meant to bring my uh, my food warmer bags and I forgot. So um, I called the wife and I'm like, hey, uh, you think you could bring me those bags? Meet me at BJ's? And she's like, oh, I got an order too at Delivered. So I'm like, well, where is it at? She's like, oh, it's at BJ's. And I'm like, for real, what's the address? Same address. So she actually come in here too. Hers is at 1120. So um, I told her to come early because I don't know if I'm gonna need bags or not, but uh, I just want to look professional, man. So I have done five deliveries now. So I'm eligible for higher paying um, orders. So this is a higher paying order. So I should be getting pretty high paying ones now. All right, man, I am in a huge hurry. Um, that's my order right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's BJ's, a bunch of salad and pizza and all that stuff. So my wife, she gonna need the bags, man. We Everybody got big orders. I actually met another delivery driver in there. Everybody got big orders. So I let her keep the bag since I'm only driving eight miles away. Uh, and I'm in a big hurry because I still got three uh, orders pending and they're on two sides of town. So. Uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be a pretty big earning day. All right, man, I'm here. Looks like some type of medical facility or something. I don't know. I don't know what this is. 
But let me find out where this food going so I can get the heck up out of here. Oh yeah, this physician life planning. I don't know. Let me see where I'm going. All right, man. This is cool. They uh they gave me the cart, so I'm able to roll everything in and be done with it real quick. We are done with that delivered order. It took less than five minutes. So uh, easy money, man. It's 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 11:30. So it's still early in the day. We rolling. I got three more stops, three pickups, three stops. Uh, I'm probably gonna call it after that last stop. Um, I know today's gonna be a good earning day, so I don't really have to be out too long. All right, man. I feel like the cargo van, man. Picking up two more pallets of water. Same place. It's a 10 minute, 10 minutes away. They gotta come back and get another pallet of water. All of them paying separate. 40 something dollars. Too easy. loaded down two pallets back there I can feel this weight too it's some serious weight um, but uh, yeah man I'm gonna drop off same place at uh, UTSA I already know where to go and then I gotta come back for one more pallet and then that'll be it so these guys are about to take lunch it's 1148 he said if I'm not back by 1230 the wait might be a little longer so hopefully I can get back pretty quick but I don't think I'm gonna make it by 1230 but uh, he said somebody will still be able to help me my last water pallet and uh, gotta go to PPG been trying to get there since 7 30 this morning so that one's gonna be late I don't know if it's a standard or ASAP I hope they put it at standard so uh, my percentage will still be good but yeah I think I'm gonna call it after that it's uh, 12 30 right now so I think I worked long enough. Uh, I started at seven, so it should be about seven, almost seven hours. I'm done like around one, one thirty. All right, man, just finished that order. I am uh, downtown near uh, UTSA. So I'm about 20 minutes away from my pickup and I think I'm gonna call it after this. It is uh, one o'clock. All right, man, this is it for the day. My last stop. Uh, 40 cans and it's about a 20 20 mile route so it's 1 30 it should be done maybe a little after two all right man i'm at a new apartment complex never been to customer of course not answering their phone these guys are in here painting i see buckets of paint and i go in there and ask them hey man where the paint go they have no idea so i'm like how you not know where y'all get y'all paint from so i gotta find somebody Let's see if I can find somebody. Usually the supervisor's got a hard hat on, right? Let me see. See who look like they in charge over here. All right, we are all done. Just got it dropped off right back there. Um, that dude is fast. It took us like two minutes to unload this uh, I backed it all the way up like almost like right there to the door and uh, I just handed it to him and he was stacking them and that dude moved fast that's how you move so literally two minutes he was done so I'm done for the day man it's two o'clock I'm gonna call it let me get home I'll calculate my numbers all right man uh, while I'm on the way home just real quick uh, I had mentioned earlier about you ship 
um, when I was uh, picking up the water. It's actually a uh, Shipley. I was thinking of Shipley. So I actually tried both of those. I tried Shipley and I tried uh, U-Ship. And uh, I don't like neither one. Shipley, I just couldn't get nothing. Uh, U-Ship, you gotta like bid. There's customers that uh, they you know they have something for you to take you know from A to B. You can go out of state, use your MC, all that. But uh, trying to win a load is like almost impossible. At least for me, uh, the bidding is like horrible. Like people are like so underbidding on there, it's like ridiculous. Almost to the point where I'm like, there, there's no way they're gonna do that load, you know, uh, for the amount they're bidding for. So uh, I I quit on both of those. They they suck. Well, for me, it might be good for other people, but um, yeah, it didn't work out. So I just wanted to mention that since uh, I did mention uh, I had mixed those up. So the water loads, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they came from Shipley uh, that the cargo van man used to do. So anyways, all right, I'm almost home. I'm going to calculate these numbers and get up out of here. All right, y'all. So I'm going to try to end this real quick. Um, so I started at 7 got uh, ended at two so I worked about seven hours I did six orders with dispatch for 284 and I got the delivered order as well the catering order uh, that was $98 so I uh, made about how much was that it was three um, 382 I believe so 382 um, and I just want to make a quick correction because I like to give y'all the numbers so you can see like my net profit and how much gas I'm using all that stuff so I use a quarter tank of gas today I did fill up but I have to explain this real quick so on where am I gonna put it this video this video right here is that where I'm gonna put it yeah right there <laughs> um, I had did my breakdown and I said that my um, so basically I earned 355 and um, I used fifty dollars of gas, which brought my net to three oh five. But that's the same day that I uh, got my first oil change, and that cost one hundred and five dollars. So one of my buddies uh, told me that, "Hey man, that's your net profit is two hundred dollars. You didn't count the one hundred and five dollars, which is true, but he's wrong because I have a separate account. So this account right here, it was five hundred dollars." It's 300 something dollars now. That account right there is money that I earned from this video right here. So this video, even though it may seem corny, it may seem like a waste of time, I have a tablet and on my phone I have games that I play. I just literally install the game. I don't even play it, I just let it run. It collects points and you get paid. So I've been making at least $10 a week just running games on my uh, tablet. I run it all day, all night. And I also use Upside. So Upside, I've already told y'all about that. Every time I get gas, I use Upside. I get anywhere from a dollar to three dollars back every time I get gas, depending on which gas station I go to. That money adds up really fast. So this is the earnings that I have in Upside. So all that money that I get from the games and Upside, I use it for maintenance, and for oil changes, all that stuff. If I need new tires, that's what that money's for. So that's free money. It's money I did not work for. It's it's just free money. So I do not count that as an expense. So I that day that I got my oil change, I had took two hundred dollars out that account. That's why it's down to three hundred something dollars. And um, I took too much money out. So it was only one hundred five dollars. So I used that extra money, that extra ninety five dollars to get gas today, which I only spent like. I think it was like 50 something dollars to fill up. So I still got a little bit more money left. So that's free money. I do not count it as an expense and I use it for my fill up today. So today is all net profit of 382. All right, so I'm actually gonna use it again, the rest of that money when I fill up again. So I'm gonna be on net profit for about, uh, about a week straight. Um, I think that's it. So I use, like I said, I use a quarter tank of gas. I did not drive much. Um, everything was pretty close. All the, the uh, pickup drop offs were really close. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I'm not gonna. I was gonna share some information about a possible job I might have uh, pertaining to the that water that I delivered, uh, but I'm not gonna share it yet. I got to get a little more info, and then I will share that information. 
um, but I'm very interested in delivering water pallets. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, today was a great day. Um, I just, I love this job, man. Like this is, I know I only, I only need to make $200 a day and days that I make more is great. Um, I'm saving a lot of money because I, I want to pay off this van and I want to buy another one. That's my goal. So um, most of the money that I make, extra money is going in the savings account. So I'm trying to build my savings up, uh, not just for to buy another van, but also, you know, if I can't work, I get injured, I'm out for six, six months, I need money to sustain me. So I'm trying to get my savings up to 40,000. Uh, that'll sustain me for an entire year. So, um, yeah, man, I'm just happy, man. Like today, now that I got my uniform and I'm, it, it's, it seems like every step forward that I take, I'm just getting happier and happier. Um, I'm already happy, but you know, like this definitely was the right decision. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much, man. I will catch y'all on the next one.